Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 16 of my Juventus career mode and today we've got a game against Palmero. I think that's how you pronounce it and uh, hopefully we can get a good win there. Uh, we are also top of the league still by two points uh, and AC Milan um, are two points behind me and then Inter Milan are six points behind me. This is the team I've currently got out. Obviously I can't use that team because Guarin's been sent off in the previous game. Always had an accumulation of yellow cards. I can't, I can't remember which it is. I think it was a straight red, but I'm not 100% sure. But we are going to get straight into this episode. Hopefully I can get to the international games in this episode. We'll have to see about that. In fact, it is a certainty that I will be playing my first games for Belgium, which is really exciting, obviously. But we are going to get on with this game. Um, I'm going to change the team quickly, and then we'll get straight on with it. Okay, so this is the team I'm going to be using to play that game against Palmero. And, um, yeah, it's a bit of a different team, this one, to be honest. I've got De Chiglo right back, Romelu and Marone at centre-back. Just because my players are a bit low on energy, and, yeah, I'm really struggling, I think, at the moment for centre-backs, uh, with the Serres being out injured. Uh, guys at left-back, Vidal, Pogba and Kovacic uh, make up the centre-mids, with Baradi just in front of them, and Tevez and Komen up front, instead of Raheem Sterling, I've put... Coleman up there. Uh, so let's see whether we can get a good win. That'd be really cool if we could. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into this game. No way. This is like three games in a row this has happened now. I'm sure it is. They've gone and scored first. How? We're only ten minutes in. I think it's just poor defending this one. Look at that. It's, it's poor defending again. Coleman's now got a brilliant opportunity to run past the defenders, he has done. Coleman to shoot, come on, no, he saved it. He got a bit too close, I think. Damn, that was a brilliant opportunity. Berardi, he's through, he's going to shoot, Berardi, 1-0. No, not 1-0. That's two episodes in a row I've done that. one all. Yes, I knew it was one all. Don't worry, I knew what the score was. Ball through to Tevez from Coleman. This is a brilliant opportunity for Tevez to get his first goal from back from injury. Oh, no. It's half time. We are still drawing one all. We've had the better chances in this game. Uh, the possession's obviously not been good at all. It never is with us for some reason. Um, but I'm going to try and sort that out in the second half. But we need to get the second goal. No. No. Good save for the goalkeeper. Oh, my God. What is that? What is that? Was that the goalkeeper's little chip? That's me trying to clear it with the defender. I think it was the defender. Oh my god, we're losing 2-1. We're going to have to make some changes. Right, making all three changes. Sterling on, Komen off. Uh, Milares on, Berardi off. Pereira on, and Kovacic off. So hopefully that's going to work. Uh, all three changes are going to be made. And let's see what we can get back in this game. Oh, Carlos Tevez is through. Tevez! Yes, he's finally scored back from injury. Two all, six minutes to go. And we've really got to use these to try and get a win now. If we do go and get a draw, Milan go and win, then they'll go joint top with us. And ideally, we don't really want that. Can we go sweaty to finish it off? Tevez! Oh, it was never going to go in that one. Nobody across the face of the goal. Why? Clearly not wanting to win this game. So frustrating, that one. I'm not going to have enough time, are we, for this attack? Sterling. Oh, Sterling! No! No way can you stop the game there! No way! I was just about to score with Sterling. Oh, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Why blow your whistle there? You had a perfect opportunity when it went back to Moroni when he headed it. Anyway, we've drawn the game 2 all. Milan, I think, just won 2 1, if I'm right. So that means the joint top with us, basically. We should have a high goal difference. I don't know, but we should do. And let's get on with these international games. We're going to forget about the club stuff for now. Two international games to play, and uh, let's see whether we can get a win. Now, these are European Championship qualifiers, um, and we are three points behind France, who are top of the table at the moment. And we've got a game against Bulgaria at home. We should really win this game. Um, but I am actually going to play the game. Because uh, obviously it's my first one with Belgium. I'll quickly have a look at these scout reports. But I won't show you them because um, it's not really relevant at the moment. 
Okay, so this is the team I'm going to use. Uh, Courtois in goal, um, Cavanda at right back, uh, Company and Alderwilden at centre back, Vertonghen playing at left back because he can, and uh, Fellaini in CDM. It's a bit of a free form midfield kind of thing going on there, uh, with De Bruyne just slightly ahead of him in kind of a centre mid role. Uh, Mertens a bit further ahead of him in centre attacking mid. Then I've got Malares at right mid, um, and then I've got Hazard left mid, obviously, and Lukaku up front. Now, I could have had Benteke up front, I know that, but Lukaku's pace is better, uh, his height's better, and his shooting's better. I think that's right, and um, I know that, obviously, Benteke's heading's better, but I don't know. I've gone for Lukaku anyway, just to change things around a bit. Benteke's on the bench. Also, something I did want to mention is... De Bruyne is a player I really want to get for Juventus, so if he plays well in this game, I'm really going to be tempted, because uh, I've just signed him on another career that I do off camera, and De Bruyne is a very good player. Uh, so anyway, let's get straight into this game, that's my bench, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can try and get a win as the Belgian manager for the first time. I'm trying to think of some really good Bulgarian players, but I can't think of any. Um, not off the top of my head anyway. I know that Petrov, I'm pretty sure, was Bulgarian, uh, but I'm also pretty sure he's retired now. Um, so I'm not really too sure um, if there's anybody that I'll have heard of playing for Bulgaria. They've not actually won a game yet, which is a good thing for us, obviously. Um, but we'll see how he gets on here. It should hopefully be a fairly straightforward win, but you never know, they might surprise us. And um, we do have a very good team. But we do have to play like a good team, um, rather than just have a good team. We've got to get the win, basically. Um, so hopefully we can do. I really want to see what the team is, but it's not going to show me, is it? I'm going to have to wait ages. I can't bother doing that. Uh, so let's get straight into this game. We've got a free kick in the first minute. Mertens ran straight from kickoff. It's a pretty poor tackle, that one, to be honest. No wonder it's a yellow card. Didn't get the ball, and was nowhere near him, really. So we've got a free kick in good position already. Who's the best at taking the free kicks, though? Um, I would have thought Hazard would have been better than that. I think he is the best. I don't know, Mertens is the best, actually, by the looks of it. Whether this will go in, I don't really know. Let's have a look. Oh, it took a deflection. Didn't get enough power on it. Mertens has won it back well here. Can he put a good ball into Lukaku? 1-0. It's not offside. Brilliant ball through, and to be honest, their Bulgaria have not helped themselves whatsoever. Um, letting me win back the ball really easily with Mertens. And he's just putting a lovely ball, and he just needed to slot it in the back of the net there, Lukaku, and he does. We're winning 1-0. We've got another free kick, it's slightly further out. It, it is the Tongan range, isn't it, really? I've not actually taken a free kick with him before, I don't think. So he'll probably go wildly over. He's taken... Oh my god, it's gone in! The Tongan scored from the free kick. I'm not used to him taking them, so I wasn't. Ex I didn't really know what to expect at all. And the captains just pulled that one out of the bag. 2-0, brilliant stuff from the Tongan. And I'm really liking this team. I, I kind of wish I'd gone to up front, to be honest. I've given Bulgaria a bit too much respect. Um, but brilliant free kick. I think the goalkeeper just went, Do you know what, I can't bother getting that. Because he could get it, let's be honest. He could. He just stops. He can't be bothered halfway there. He's, he's tired already and we're 30 minutes in, I bet. What the hell have I just done here? No way. Oh, thank God they can't shoot. Berbatov. Oh, of course, Berbatov. Completely forgot about him. Oh, Lukaku's got a chance here. Just before half-time and he's messed it up. And it is half-time. We are winning 2-0. We could be winning by more. They're not a good team at all. I'm going to make some changes at half-time and show you basically what I've done. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do um, at half time. I've brought on, bearing in mind my pronunciation's quite bad, I'm going to have to try and pronounce his name, Nine Golan. I'm going to try that. <laughs> uh, I've brought him on and I've taken off, uh, let me think, I've taken off Milares for him. And then I brought Benteke on and I took off uh, Mertens for him as well. So I've gone Lukaku and Benteke up front. I've gone to a. 4-2-2-2 two, two, two formation uh, with two center attacking mids. So uh, that is what I've gone for. Hopefully we can get a few more goals in the second half. I've also taken Fellaini off and I'm now going to bring on uh, Witzel as well. Uh, just because he's a little bit more mobile than Fellaini. Who is, um, to be quite honest, really boring me in that center mid position. Another chance for Vertonghen to shoot here. Come on, let's have another good one please. It's a bit further out this one though. 
Oh, and off target. We've had a really poor second half here, barely anything to show you. Um, it just hasn't worked at all, this 4-2-2-2. Um, two, two, two. So, uh, yeah, we're, that's probably something we won't be trying again. Oh, my God, saved off the line. We're starting to play really poorly here. I don't know what's happened. It's just our midfield aren't tracking back enough. Um, yeah, it's, it's not good. That is it. We have won 2-0. Like I said before, really poor second half. Um, it tells you something when we've actually had the same amount of possession as Bulgaria. Um, we were such a better team in the first half. Second half, we were very sloppy. The formation change didn't work as I'd hoped. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely be keeping it the usual formation in the next game. Now, speaking of the next game, I won't have time to play the game. Um, so I'm hoping that we should really beat Denmark away. So I'm going to sim the game. Um, we've also got a player returning from injury as to Balor at club level. And, um, yeah, like I said, we're going to have to try and sim the game because I don't have enough time to play three matches in one episode. So we'll decide on the team, and then I'll go and sim it. Okay, so this is the team I'm going to use. Um, it's pretty much the same, to be honest, except I've taken out Fellaini and bringing on this guy that I can't pronounce the name of. And Vermalen's at left back as well. Move Mertens back a little bit uh, for this game. But let's go sim it and see whether we can try and get a win. Okay, so the game's against Denmark, as you know. Um, this should be an interesting game. It really should be quite an interesting match because we're away, so it's going to be a tricky one. Um, but Denmark don't have too many good players. I've said that now, and we'll probably end up losing this match, but we shouldn't do, really. It's a game that we should win. Lukaku gets the goal after being booked uh, 17 minutes before, and into the second half, we are still winning. Vermaelen does come on, though. Sorry, come off, and uh, Van Dam comes on. Witzel comes off. Uh, sorry, on. <laughs> it's so complicated, those arrows that you have to look at. Anyway, we scored the second goal and won the game. Lara's got the second in the 83rd minute. And we won the game 2-0. And as you can see, we're now back at the club um, after the international duty and all the international games had finished. We do have a little monthly scouting update report to look at. Let's see who we've found. Uh, a 92 rated goalkeeper, potentially. Another 90 rated player. An 81, which we'll get rid of. And I'll have a look at this. I'm okay to play, says Dabala. Whether he will play, I'm not 100% sure. Um, you probably just saw there that we are level on points with AC Milan. Now, we've got this game here. I am going to sim this game because it's another one that we should win. Uh, and we should really go, hopefully, uh, maybe a point ahead of Milan. Oh, sorry, two points ahead of Milan if they draw. Um, I'm not really too sure that we do have to play Milan again. I'll have a quick look and I'll be back in a second. Now, there are 10 games left. We don't have to play AC Milan, but we do have to play Inter Milan, which could be quite an important one. They're only four points behind us now, so we're going to set up this team and quickly sim this next game. Uh, this is the team we should win. As you can see, the last three games they have lost, so if I don't win, I'll be very annoyed about this with a full-strength team out. Varane getting the early goal 13 minutes in after being booked. And we are half an hour through. We are still winning 1-0. Laporte gets booked. That's both our centre-backs booked. Now Pogba with the second goal just before half-time into the second half. And it looks like we're going to have a comfortable win here. Kovacic comes off. Guarin comes on. And Vidal gets booked now. Malares comes on. Vidal off. Guarin with the third goal in the 80th minute. And that is how it finishes. We have won 3-0. Uh, another good result. Kept a clean sheet as well. And that is going to be it for this episode. You can see that Milan also won... And that leaves um, them on the same points as us. So did Inter Milan, so we're not even further ahead than them. Uh, which is a bit frustrating, but I'm sure eventually we will win the league. Uh, whether it is by a point or by ten points, I'm not too sure. Uh, but that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, then please leave a like and subscribe. That would be really appreciated. Obviously, subscribing is just one click of a button once you are signed in. So if you can go do that, that would be amazing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Nothing in these emails. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.